Okay, this, uh, I have the whole list, and the, 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 the important is my where is he? Laser. This is maybe this is the women. Here, ah, here. Laser Jakob Suleiman. This is. Uh, I would like you to introduce yourself. Okay. Uh, I had the pleasure to know something about you until now, but uh, my views, they didn't, so tell okay. us, who are you? Uh, my name is Lili Haber. I was born in Poland, in Krakow, right after the war, the Second World War. Uh, my parents were born also in Krakow, and uh, we came to Israel in 1950, I was two and a half years old when we came to Israel. They came to a new country with nothing. No parents to help them. No, they didn't know the culture. They were from Kuwaku, mm -hmm. from the Strange very city in the elegant world. city. Mm -hmm. um, they were not used to this climate even. My mother used to spend her time reading English books uh, in the plenty of Krakow, this green, beautiful place, and she came here to a desert. I have... When did you find out that your father, your family, was on the Schindler list? Someone might think that I'm a stupid or <laughs> unlearned, <laughs> but I've learned about the fact that I, my family has any connections with the Schindler list only after the book came out in the 90s, in the beginning really? of the 90s. Wow. Yes. You didn't know about it before? I didn't know nothing, nothing. My parents were the kind of people who never said a word. This topic was, uh, the subject was taboo. Uh, I remember myself trying to ask my parents something and the answer was always very, ang they were angry with mm -hmm. me and uh, probably I have learned that this is something that you won't, uh, don't ask and they didn't tell. And but you they, knew that they went through Holocaust? You knew? I knew the fact. that I don't it's 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 strange. It's very funny to de to say it today. But when we came to Israel, this is something that I uh, I think that not many people are aware of. We came to Israel. We were living in a place where most people were from the same background. I mean, most of them were from Poland. Some of them were neighbors of my family. Back in Krakow, we went to class that was called the Polish class, or the other class, and we were the Polish class. And so uh, it's difficult to hide it. But nobody, it wasn't the subject. It, if, if, look, if, if, if nobody, if it's not in the papers, if nobody says something about it. There was no memorial uh, day for Holocaust those days. Don't forget that I was born right after the war. And those days in Israel, nobody talked about it. And it wasn't an issue at all. First time that it was mentioned or came to our uh, awareness. awareness, I mean in a, in a day to day, uh, the thing, uh, it's, uh, something that the whole uh, uh, society in Israel came uh, uh, been aware to was in '61 in uh, Eichmann trial, yeah, but the also the breaking point. Yes, so we were we knew that there was a Holocaust, but we didn't know what it was. It's there was no television, uh, television those days. Uh, we The book was published in, uh, if I'm not mistaken, in 1991 here in Israel. Mm -hmm. I don't remember who brought it to my attention, not my parents. I <laughs> just remember that I went to uh, bought the book and read it very carefully. And on page 104, I found my father's name. It's unbelievable. So I, I have this, you know, ah! Oh. 
I, and we were living then in Jerusalem. So I went to Yad Vashem and I said, uh, is there a Schindler list? Is there a thing like that? Yeah. They said, yes. What do you want? I want the list. And they gave me the list. And 1,200 names. I, went, I didn't know where to look and I yeah. didn't what, know what I'm looking for. So I went uh, line by line by line by line until I found his name, as I showed you, and my a line up beyond there is under is the name of my uncle. I went home. I called my father. I was living then in Jerusalem, and he, they, my parents were living in Tel Aviv. I called him and I said, "Do you know that you were on Schindler list?" <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, but I for remember. Him. I remember saying it. I thought no. that I found out. First time in the world, I couldn't understand. It never came to my mind that he knew and didn't tell me. I thought that he didn't knew. You, you, you <laughs> thought that you will tell him something new. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Said that I'm stupid and uh, there's no why I'm wasting my time and it's not uh, relevant and so. On. He really said that. Yes. Yes. It's not relevant. Why, why are you wasting your time? It's not for a relevant story. Leave it alone. Then, but you know, you can't leave it alone. Now that you know it, and you know that your father said, you're getting don't, crazy. You have so to know you more. have to know more. Yeah. I remember my father is the from those uh, not very many people who were saved by Schindler and hated him. My father. His brother and his sister hated Schindler. I didn't know it. I, why you know why? I, now now you I know, know why. why. Now I think I know why. But I didn't know why and it was very unpopular not to like Schindler. Yeah. And the whole story, you know, I felt very awkward about it. When my father died and the... the, the uh, according to the Jewish tradition, we are sitting Shiva. And I was sitting with my uncle, who was also on the list. My uncle explained to me that they hated or they disliked or whatever word you use because he didn't agree to, to put their father, my grandfather, on the list. Uh, I think that uh, it's not Schindler to be blamed, or I know that it's not Schindler's to blame. Mm -hmm. uh, Schindler he wasn't, wasn't responsible uh, for the people of the list. He yeah. wasn't doing the list, he wasn't preparing the list. They, who put, they, there was a Jew by the name of Marcel Goldberg, and it's important to say his name, that everybody will know that also were bad Jews, not only bad uh, Germans and bad Poles and bad uh, Ukrainians and so on. Mm -hmm. They were also not such a good Jews. Yes, and this guy would get money and they will put somebody on the list for the money and take off somebody else. I know the story for sure because Another relative of mine told me yeah. he was working on Shin it was Strinkler's factory and in the last moment he was taken off the list. So it's not Schindler to be blamed, it's uh, Marcel uh, Goldberg and he was murdered after the war. So I found him, some, a few Jews found him in South America and they killed him, they just killed him wow. and they uh, executed him. <laughs> Until this day, I don't know anything, though I, I'm spending it like 10 years in that, talking to everybody, who, anybody who was in Krakow, who was born in Krakow, who was in Auschwitz, was in the, the camps. I've and you were involved also in the Schindler, in the Schindler uh, Museum. Museum? Yes. Uh, I've learned, I've started to be involved in the Association of Krakowians in Israel, and then there I found, I asked, Everyone who was with, you know, wrinkles, how old are you? Have you met mm -hmm. my parents? Mm -hmm. did, do you know, did you knew my parents? Have you met them? Have you been maybe with them in the camps? And that how I learned where was my mother liberated, where she was during the war in the camp, what my father was doing. Touch any moment. Yes. 
what my father was doing in Schindler's List. Because, okay, he was on Schindler's List. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know, how I have it. But what was there? How, how we, he spent, the, he was on, uh, he was on Schindler. Somehow. Yes, yes, but he was on Schindler's uh, list or in the factory between uh, October 44 until uh, the beginning of uh, May 45. Mm -hmm. What was he doing? Was he working? Was he starving? Was he... What he was doing? So everyone said something. No one knew because there was no... Everybody who was in the camps or during the Holocaust, he knew only the, the little, very little things that happened to him and to his close family. So now I, I'll just end with that. that my, when my parents died, it was my mother died in 1990 and my father in 2000, I knew the names of my grandparents and grand-grandparents. I mean, for generation. Mm -hmm. were three years later, when my uh, first grandson was uh, born, I came to the hospital, very proud, and brought him a seven generation list of seven wow. document, documentation of it. And the, for me, it was, you know, you have a history, you have a family, there was a past. Everything is in Hebrew because this is the language you, we used to use yes. here. But just a. Uh, I'll check if you see it. I need my glasses, of course. This is the diary, or what's the the, mm -hmm. the original writings here? This is letters. This, uh, this is uh, according to the Jewish to, uh, tradition, mm -hmm. we have a document. that's calling it's called Ketuba. This is so Ketuba. This is a Ketuba of my parents. Wait a second, I have to show it because. <laughs> We don't know how Ketuba is looking like. It can be looked look like in many yeah. ways. You know, wow. uh, it's starting... Uh, what's written here? What's, what's uh, written here? How much money, how he, much has money? To, he has to earn? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So how much? <laughs> I, I have to read it. It's not very easy because it's in the Arama, uh, Aramai language. Ah, Aramaiski. Yes, yes. And uh, anyway... This God. is the beginning yeah. of how I have learned that people are people and you are not allowed to judge, to generalize. And you have to know someone and only then you can say if he's a good or bad, if he is kind, if he's aggressive, if you like him or you dislike him.